Hello everyone, this is Saeed. Uh, today I'm going to cook one of my favorite uh, tandoori dish. Uh, it's chicken shashlik. So it's gonna be a very simplest way, guys. Um, I also did, I already done chicken tikka and shish kebab um, recipe on my channel. Uh, it's quite similar to um, chicken tikka. Uh, so basically, guys, I got here about I got about four portion of uh, chicken tikka here. So what I'm going to do here, um, I'm going to show you how I cut the chicken tikka. Let me show you guys. Um, look, the, make sure guys it, it's not too thick when you cut them. Uh, if you make it home or if you make it on charcoal grill, they may, then it's, it's okay. You can make it, you can keep it a bit thicker. But the reason I'm, I cut it a bit thinner because I'm going to cook it on my um, cast iron uh, grill pan. So all of them, I cut them on, I mean, because you can see it's thinner pieces. Right, now I'm going to show you guys here um, how I cut the onions. As you can see, it's not too thick, it's not too thin. And the green pepper, just make a cube. And also the tomatoes, guys, um, you can cut like this, you can make it a bit thinner, not too thick as you can see like this and also guys I have um, two different two different cut, let me show you I'm gonna make one one of them, one of the sashlik like this as well I cut them on um, half the tomatoes and onions and green pepper is similar same so uh, let's start guys so here i got some skewers guys uh, as you can see i actually soaked them on the water about 10 15 minutes ago because otherwise this thing is going to burn into the when i'm going to cook the shashlik so this wooden sorry this bamboo uh, skewers you can buy from any asian shop or any i don't know tesco or else that is that as you can see look it's just 99p guys you can you can get all this i I, may, I halved them because my grill pan is not that big so I cut them in half so let's start guys I'm gonna I'm gonna put this put all the sp I mean, spice mixed together here right guys first I'm going to add um, half teaspoon of salt then I'm going to add garlic ginger paste guys uh, as you can see um, that's my garlic my homemade garlic ginger paste uh, I got video recipe on my channel uh, for this uh, garlic ginger paste. So I'm going to add one tablespoon of garlic ginger paste. Then I'm going to add the spices. Uh, I go here: turmeric powder, coriander powder, uh, cumin powder, garam masala. I'm not adding this uh, turmeric powder. I'm going to only add this four. So I'm going to add. One teaspoon of coriander powder. One teaspoon of coriander powder. A uh, bit less than uh, one teaspoon of cumin powder. Half teaspoon of uh, garam masala. And one teaspoon of paprika powder. all the spice guys now I'm going to add one mm. teaspoon of mean sauce mean sauce guys you can use any mean sauce uh, like this I mean you can buy from any supermarkets from Tesco Asda or Asian supermarkets they do that's a mean sauce one spoon and one teaspoon then I'm going to add the <coughs> tandoori spice marinade guys sorry um, Tandoori spice marinade. I'm going to add one teaspoon. Actually, I've, I've had one and a half teaspoon. Sorry, one and a half teaspoon of um, tandoori marinade. Guys, tandoori. If you can't find this one yet, yeah, tandoori marinade, you can uh, you can get tikka paste or tandoori paste uh, pataks or any other brands. I'm going to add Kashmiri paste.
Kashmir paste about one one teaspoon guys so now I'm going to add uh, the yogurt sorry yogurt I'm going to add about one tablespoon guys if you watch my chicken tikka recipe I, I have done a I have done two versions of the chicken tikka recipe guys uh, one is actually with the yogurt and one without the yogurt so you can have a look now I'm going to add um, some lemon juice about one tablespoon I go half tablespoon here so two half tablespoon is equivalent to one one tablespoon guys I always recommend you guys uh, to add fresh lemon uh, to the tikka marinade or any 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 marination I always recommend I mean prefer I mean fresh lemon but I don't have fresh lemon today so I added um, I added uh, lemon juice or lime juice you can now the guys another thing I'm going to show you actually is actually it's called mustard oil and this you know the mustard oil guys it's actually it's, it does I mean says uh, for external use only if you have any medical condition uh, please avoid this don't add this mustard oil you don't have to add it I'm just adding it just give some nice zing into the I mean into the tikka that's all or there's another option guys you can add olive oil or um, corn oil or any other cooking oil you can add but I like a mustard oil and we Asian people actually guys uh, we we eat um, mustard oil but not too much we don't eat too much guys I mean we, we you can add we can you can have a little bit but too much mustard oil is not good so I'm gonna add only two, uh, for this I'm gonna add about two table two teas teaspoon or one tablespoon I, I'm gonna add one tablespoon uh, but if you as I said guys please uh, make sure you you don't have any medical condition if you if you have it I mean sorry if you have a medical condition don't use this mustard oil so I'm gonna add one uh, tablespoon I go here uh, half tablespoon and half tablespoon now guys I'm going to add uh, some food color um, I go here red uh, prima bright red food color as you can see guys color I know a lot of a uh, lot of you don't like uh, colors in your food um, that's fine you can I mean you can skip this you don't have to add food color guys it's totally optional it doesn't give any flavor or anything it's just for I mean just look nice I mean when you make the when, when you make the food tikka or shashlik or um, any any tandoori uh, dishes it just look nice that's all it doesn't give any flavor it's just optional but I'm going to add a little bit of food color today guys so I'm going to put uh, red food color for about one quarter teaspoon as you can see and I'm going to combine with some orange food color powder so I'm going to add about less bit less than uh, one quarter teaspoon because if you just add red color guys it's too much too I mean too much red and too dark red I mean com it comes up the funny cookie so if you have bit mix it with the orange color I mean then you'll be you'll, you'll come nice look nice now guys the last thing I'm gonna add uh, the fenugreek leaves I'm going to add fenugreek leaves about one about one I mean one teaspoon or one and a half teaspoon that's it guys now the pro I mean the process uh, I'm gonna mix all the spices and then my wife will help me to uh, I mean mix the chicken because um, I cut my finger as you can see so um, she's gonna help me to do the thing so I'm going to help her by mixing the spices first the spoon as you can see guys um, mix is so far looking nice now let's see how it comes out what 
So now my mix is ready. Let me show you guys. As you can see. Now, if you if you if you want to add some more um, yogurt, guys, it's up to you. Uh, but I'm not going to add, guys, any more yogurt. It's absolutely fine. So my wife's gonna help me now. So she's gonna mix all the spice. I mean, sorry, the chicken. Yeah. So can you come, please? Right. So uh, can you just mix the mix the chicken? I will. Um, I will put it on the skewer later. So can you make can you mix the, all the all the chicken first? And it's always better, guys, use the use your hand when you make uh, when you make the tandoori marination. It's better to use the hand. That's it. I think it's all done. So now I will put it on the skewer. It's fine. I can put it on the skewer. Okay. Thank you very much. Right, guys. Now I'm gonna put all of them. I mean, on uh, into the skewer. Skewer. So. I go here one. First, I'm going to show you the small ones. Let me show you how you can do that. Look. First, guys, uh, you face the onion. The first one. I mean, the opposite direction. The first one. First one. When you put it, put it in the squares, guys. Make sure you put it in the opposite direction. Then you put one piece chicken then you pour any, any red green pepper or red pepper then you put another chicken then you add um, any uh, or tomato this is a bit small guys so it's not gonna add thing as much so then I'm going to add an uh, onion. I say I'm not, I'm not going to add any more guys because I don't have space. Uh, so as you as you saw, I mean, I look at the onion. I put it on on that direction, this this direction. But first one, this one, is supposed to be on the opposite direction. And all the ch chicken and paper and tomato tomato is going to go I mean that direction. So give me one second, guys. Let me put in another chicken here actually. So I'll put it here. Now, let me make another one with the big ones. This is this size actually, guys. We we make here in restaurant, but I prefer always a small one for the for home. Um, it's better. It's cook quicker as well, faster. Then you add tomato. Then you add, you know the chicken, guys. Chicken, you can put this either this way or this way. But, uh, but looks like, guys, if I put it this way, then I'll, I'll, I'll have more space. So <laughs> I will actually put it this way. Then I'm going to add another sh green pepper. Then you add chicken. Then you add onion and I'm going to close it with another onion you don't you don't uh, make sure guys don't uh, mix the pepper and um, onions into the into in with the chicken otherwise it's gonna be too much spice on the on the uh, on the on your thing it's just like it's gonna be too pasty so it's better just use your hand and rub it and on t on top of the things. So I'll do the process for all, all of them. So this guy is up. To, I mean, totally uh, optional. <coughs> I mean, think it's up to you. So I have done it, guys. Right, guys. I'm going to um, cook the shashlik now onto my um, cast iron pan. I mean, grill pan. As you can see, there's a five shashlik, small shashlik. So let's cook it, guys, okay? 
Right guys, now I'm going to cook uh, my shashlik into this uh, cast iron pan. Uh, so first, I'm going to heat the pan up. Then I'm going to put the I mean uh, the heat down about low medium. First, I'm going to put uh, on high heat. Then when the pans pans are heat they're heated, then I'll put it down. And also, I'm going to add some. Uh, if you have butter guys, uh, salted butter, uh, what you can do, you can add some salted butter as well into the pan or I'm using butter ghee here. I go cat see butter ghee. So I will add some butter ghee into this pan. Now okay, guys, I'm going to add some butter now. If you have butter ghee, sorry, salted butter guys, then you can add some salted butter and, and you can brush it. But um, I don't have butter today guys, so I'm putting butter ghee. So it's, just, it's okay, it's a similar thing guys. Now I'm using this tongue guys, I'm going to, or you can, you can use your hand and turn them over then what you can do you can add some butter on that side as well and brush that and using this stone guys what you can do you know the chicken uh, you can Press it a bit. And also guys, I'm going to use the lid. Uh, then the chicken will be cooked faster guys. Let's check it guys. When you see the chicken is bit harder, yeah, that means the the chicken is done. Because it's onion paper, yeah, it doesn't take long. It's just a chicken rice, uh, gonna take the time to cook. So that's why when using the, one of the one of these or a um, spoon or anything, you just press it into the thingy, then you'll cook faster, guys. Let's cook it again. But let me show you the heat. As you can see, the steam is actually on low medium. Let's turn them, out, turn them over again. But it's almost done guys, You're not too fast. Look, the chicken is already a bit hot in fingers. It's 80, 90, 90% done guys. Right guys, my shashlik is done. I'm gonna transfer it to one of my one of my plates. So let's transfer this guys. I see guys, my shashlik is ready, as you can see. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. But let me show you. Um, let me show you the shashlik, guys. Uh, the, uh, the chicken is perfectly cooked, guys. As you can see. Look at that the chicken 
and it's also the chicken I haven't also marinated guys it's it was uh, straight away I've done it and the chicken will be very juicy guys trust me let me show you um, the chicken has uh, done it cooked properly or not let's let me let me check because sometime if it's the chicken doesn't cook properly look um, as you can see look at that it's perfectly cooked every single piece is perfectly even the onions look at the onion it's cooked properly also the paper so that's it guys thanks so please uh, subscribe to my channel guys subscribe to my channel and also like uh, comment and share and also if you have any question regarding this uh, recipe or any other recipes guys uh, please leave a comment below or you can send a message to my um, to our Facebook group Facebook page that's all guys thank you and hope to see you guys soon bye bye